Assalamu alaikum everyone. Can you hear me? It's really good to see you everyone, inshallah. My name is Samaya. Do you remember me from Ali and Samaya? Ali and Samaya, Ali and Samaya, brother and sister, Muslim and Muslima. Yay! It's Samaya and I'm doing the first live stream today. So this is so exciting. But I'm really, really nervous. I'm so happy that you all joined us today and thank you for being so patient with us. Mashallah. So, today, I'm going to be talking all about Allah, the Most High, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But I'm feeling a little nervous, so I'm going to read my favorite dua that I always read when I feel nervous. Imam Bashir taught me this dua. He said when I'm feeling nervous and I have to talk, I say this dua from the Quran, Musa alayhi salam read it. Do you know it? Read it with me if you know. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli You're asking Allah to make you strong and have courage and you ask me Allah for you to be able to speak clearly and nicely yeah so whenever you need anything ask Allah he's always there and he's always listening yeah today I'm gonna talk about my favorite subjects Allah of course Allah the one who created the universe yeah he made it all did you know that so we have to remember that because he's not like anything that he made. Yeah. So I'm happy we're here today. I read the dua, but I also want to ask Allah to protect me. So I'm going to start with Isti'adha. A'udhu billahi minash rajim. I seek protection with Allah from shaitan. You know shaitan's not our friend, right? He wants to take us to the bad place and we don't want to go there. We want to go Jannah! Yay! So I said, I seek protection. So now, alhamdulillah, I'm going to start with Basmallah. What's that? That's the title for Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. With the name of Allah. Allah means the one we love because... The one we worship, pray to, and we'll talk about worship a bit later because sometimes we misunderstand that word, but we need to understand worship properly. Yeah, guys? And then we've got the only one God. Allah is the one we love, repeat it with me, the one we worship and the only one God. Yes. So, what's Allah like? What's he made from? Do we know? No. Allah says that he's not like anything he made. And he made everything in the universe. So he's not a mountain. He's not the earth. He's not the sky. He's not the sea. He's not an animal. And he's not human like you and me. So that's strange, isn't it? Because we can't imagine what Allah's like. But he said, inshallah, the best gift in Jannah will be to see Allah's beautiful face. Mashallah. Can you imagine? Allah has a face, but we don't know what the face is like. He has hands. We don't know what they look like either. No, he said he's nothing like his creation. But inshallah, we're all going to meet Allah, the one who made you, the one who made me, the one who loves us all and who wants us to go Jannah. And he's made things so easy for us to go to Jannah. He's given us the answer book to pass this massive test. What answer book? The Holy Quran, of course. Mashallah. May Allah bless all your families. All of us to be strong with Iman and to love Allah. And this is why I'm here. Because a lot of the time we learn about Allah in a, in a scary way. No! Allah loves us and He wants Jannah for us. And we should learn about Him in a beautiful way. Yeah? So that's why I'm here. So I can share all my beautiful things that I know. Yeah? So, 
You were talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most high. Why should we worship him? And first of all, what is worship? We didn't talk about that, did we? No. So a lot of us think that worshipping Allah is like praying salah, or making dua, or reading the Quran, isn't it? But actually, no. Worship is ibadah in Arabic, and ibadah means anything, anything that Allah loves and that he will be pleased with. So think about it. If I cleaned my room and I knew that my mommy and daddy will be happy and Allah will be happy, it's worship. Yes, I got reward. So what other things can you think about that could be ibadah, guys? What other things? Mommy's always busy, daddy's always busy working, but they're doing it to make our lives happy. This could be worship too. Cooking in the kitchen. If you're doing it to please your family and to feed your family, it's ibadah. Yes, worship. So I said cleaning my room, helping my friend, cooking, helping, not just praying, not just reading Quran. Anything that Allah will love and will be pleased with. Yeah. So even when I'm washed and I, I, I'm clean, I know that Allah likes people to be clean and nice and tidy. So inshallah, that's worship too. Yeah, we shouldn't be unclean. No, no. Who is Allah? Someone asked us, who is Allah? So I said, Allah is nothing like his creation. But Allah is the creator, I said it early on, he's the creator of the universe and everything with it. Okay, right. So I'm going to give you some questions to help me out with. Are you ready? I'm going to ask the question, who is Allah? I kind of gave it away a bit earlier, but I'm going to make it really easy today. Okay, not next time though. Yeah. Who is Allah? I want your comments, guys. So we talked about why should we worship Allah? Okay, so we woke up in the morning, didn't we? Did we wake up by ourselves? Hmm, we think we did. But actually, it's Allah that allowed us to wake up in the morning. It's Allah that has given our families and our friends and everything that we love and we have. He's given our lovely homes, he's given our food, you know all these clothes? We think that we came from the shops, yeah? But who's given you the ability to buy, to get all these things? Allah! Everything belongs to Allah. And for that reason, we have to remember him and we have to thank him, guys. So that's why we should worship Allah, to remember him and thank him. But number one, what did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran? Allah says, I created the humans to worship me. Yeah, he said it in the Quran. A lot of us don't know this. So this is our number one purpose, guys. Our number one goal. Our number one mission. To worship Allah the way he asked us to. Yes. And how did he ask us to worship him? He gave us all the answers in the Holy Quran. And next time, I'm going to talk about someone very special who brought the Quran to us. But not today. Today is all about Allah. Okay? Who should we love the most? Most of us, I, I used to say mommy, of course. Mommy is the one that looks after me and feeds me and clothes me and does so much for me. But no, I was wrong. My brother Ali told me about it. Because someone asked our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who should we love the most? Guess what the number one answer was? Roo, assalamu alaikum, Roo. Yeah, you said we should Allah love Allah the most. And it's really hard because I said to my brother Ali, I've never seen Allah. I've never met him. How can I love him? That's a good question, isn't it? It's true. How can I love someone I've never seen? But my brother Ali, he said, learn about Allah. Learn about his beautiful name, Sumaya. Learn that he's Ar Rahman. He's the most merciful, more merciful than mummy. More merciful than mummy? How can that be? Yes, 
Allah loves you more than your mummy and daddy. He gave you your mummy and daddy. He gave you everything you have. So it shows you how much Allah loves you. So I'm going to ask another question. Maybe you can help me out with this one. What? Where is Allah? Where is he? Where is he? Ooh, someone said everywhere. Mm, not quite everywhere. No, that's not the right answer. But I'll tell you why in a bit. Allah is above us. He's above the seven heavens. He's above the seven heavens. Above, he has a throne. And he's above it all. That's where Allah is. And Allah can see us all the time. Yes. And he can hear us all the time. Even though he's so far away. So sometimes we say Allah is everywhere. But that's not right. You know why? Because Allah is not in unclean places. No. He's not in the toilet. He's not in the bathroom. Ooh, that's horrible. Allah is above us. He's above the seven heavens, above his arsh, the throne. Allah can see you all and hear you all. And he loves all of us. And he wants good for us. And he knows what's best for us. So that's where Allah is. Yeah. Who is Allah? Allah is the creator of everything. Every single thing in the entire universe. Yeah, he created it all. I've got a question. I just remembered. I got really surprised when I learned this. What was the first ever thing Allah created? That's a tricky one. Who knows the answer? What is the first thing Allah created? Sabia, you got it. The pen, Al-Qalam, the pen. <gasps> That's odd. Why would Allah create a pen? The pen. The pen spoke when Allah created it. The pen, the special pen. Not like any other pen. The pen spoke and he said, Ya Allah, what shall I write? And Allah commanded the pen to write everything from the beginning to the end of time. So, I'm going to recite one of my favorite surahs, yeah? And it's all about Allah. And it's the one that most of us know, actually. It's called Surah Al-Ikhlas. Ikhlas means to clear, to be pure, yeah? So, to believe in Allah purely, we have to say Ikhlas, yeah? We have to know this surah. So, who's going to read it with me? Are you ready? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له I hope you enjoyed that. So what does this surah talk about? It talks about Allah. Say he is Allah. Allah, the one we love, the one we worship and the only one. Ahad, the only one. Allah, again Allah. Is Asomad, another one of his beautiful names. We didn't talk about Allah's beautiful names, but we've mentioned four today already. Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, and Asomad. So what does Asomad mean? It means Allah Asomad. He doesn't need anything or anyone. Allah doesn't need anything, you know that. But all of his creation, you and me and everything he created, we need Allah. We need Allah to nurture us, to take care of us. Yeah, he, uh, he looks after us all. Allahu samad Lam yalid wa lam yulad 
Allah makes it really clear here that he doesn't have any children. No, Allah has no children, no family. And he has no parents. He was never ever born. Yeah, Allah, he was always there. You might think Allah is lonely, but no. Allah doesn't need anything because he's not like us. We, we all need family and friends. And Allah gave us our family and friends. But Allah is above it all. وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدًا And there's nothing like Allah كُفُوًا أَحَدًا Again, أَحَدًا means one. He's the only one. So this is Surah Al-Ikhlas. And if you haven't learned it, let's learn it together, friends. Yeah? Jazakallah khair. Someone said my recitation was lovely. Thank you so much. I love being here and I love sharing all these things that I know. It's only very little, but Allah loves whatever little we know to share it and so that we can help each other. Yeah? So, what I really want everyone to do is so that we keep making this every week and even more than every week. Yeah? We had a question, a poll. Yeah? Who is Allah? Number one. Where is Allah? Number two. And why should we worship Allah? Number three. So number one question, who is Allah? We talked about it. I'll give you the answer. The one who created the universe. <laughs> Where is Allah? He's above the seven heavens above his throne. And why should we worship Allah? Because he created us and he asked us to worship him. Okay, but really, really important, guys. We want to keep coming to you every week. So you have to like us, you have to share us, and you have to subscribe so that we can raise our content to the top, yeah? So that we can produce so much good stuff for you. We really, really appreciate it. May Allah bless it. Ameen. Aya and Mariam, love you. I love you too. Assalamu alaikum. We all love each other for the sake of Allah. Because alhamdulillah, we're an ummah, we're a family. Yeah? And we need to look after each other and worship Allah in the best way. If we worship Allah in the best way, yeah, Allah will be happy and things will be good. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for being here. Mashallah. And I want you all to share what you know too. So that we can learn and grow together. Yeah? So today was all about Allah. Where he is. Why should we worship him? What is worship? Do you remember that? Something that Allah loves and he will be pleased with. So, I'm going to finish up here. But if there's anything that you really want me to talk about today, let me know. Yeah? I'm just going to wait a bit. He didn't rise, reach for the skies. Come, my friends, let's recite. What are we going to recite? So you all, you promised me that you're going to learn the words of Allah? The Holy Quran? Yeah. This is the best way to get to know Allah. Yes, we haven't seen him yet or met him yet. But he loves us so much and he wants Jannah for us. So we have to really uh, learn about him, why he's so special and all the beautiful things he's given us. Oh, I just remembered something. Do you know... That one good deed, one good thing, like I said, assalamu alaikum, could be a good deed, right? You might think it's just one point, isn't it? One good deed. But actually, Allah writes one good deed as ten. Ten points! Yeah, for one good deed! And then, he writes, if you do something not so good, yeah, a bad deed, bad, he writes it as one! So that shows you that Allah automatically gives you 10 times more for doing good. So what does that tell you? He tells you that he wants Jannah for you. Yeah. Come on, lots of love, guys. So when we learn about these beautiful things that Allah has done for us, we're going to be so grateful and our hearts are going to be loving him so much. You know what else? We've got two angels, yeah, on our shoulders. Yeah. One writes our bad deeds and one writes our good deeds. When the angel writes our good deeds on the right, 
They write it straight away. It's never it rubbed out or erased. It's always there. But the angel that writes are uh, uh, bad deeds on the left shoulder. Allah commands the angel to wait. Yeah, he commands the angel to wait. Six hours, yeah. Because Allah hopes that we will be sorry and we will say uh, sorry for our mistake, Allah. Sorry to whoever we've hurt maybe or said a bad thing to, yeah. The angel waits six hours. And then if you don't say sorry or ask Allah to forgive you, it's written down. But guess what? Maybe tomorrow I remembered, oh, I said a, a little naughty thing I shouldn't have said. I'm sorry, Allah. Guess what happens to that, that bad deed on that book? It's erased. It's rubbed out like it never happened. So Allah has given us a chance always, always to correct our mistakes. But all our good deeds are there forever, inshallah. I love your app. Oh, thank you. If you love our apps, remember our apps. We've got lots of apps, haven't we? We've got one to learn how to pray. Let's pray. And the big one is the madrasa, the school. Ali and Samaya School. So it teaches you everything from praying to reading to reading the alphabets. Everything. All your Islamic studies. Uh, the 99 names of Allah. Yeah. So we've got an app called Ali and Sumaya School that will really help you to learn more about Allah and all the things he wants us to do. Okay? And don't forget, we have a YouTube channel. Yeah? YouTube. So if you subscribe, all these videos are going to come straight to your YouTube and they're going to let you know when we're on. So you don't miss any of our sessions. Yeah? And don't forget to follow us. Yeah, follow us on Facebook and subscribe and then you see everything. Okay, inshallah. You don't want me to miss out. Okay? Masha'Allah. See you next time from Amara. Masha'Allah. Okay, so next week we're going to talk about those questions that I said and maybe we're going to announce a little winner. Yeah. Oh, Lamisa, she said she keens up to help mummy and daddy and so that Allah will be happy. Thank you. MashaAllah. Okay, so I'm going to finish up now. Is there anything else before we say goodbye for today? Just for today. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Nashhadu wa la ilaha illallah. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. I read a dua so that Allah forgives me for any mistakes I make. Because sometimes people, we make mistakes, isn't it? So we have to just correct ourselves and make sure that Allah forgives us, yeah? So let's all raise our hands and make dua for all the ummas, everyone who's unwell, make them better. Ameen. Yeah? And everyone, so we can learn about Allah and be the best Muslim and Muslima that we can be. Ameen. Yeah? So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Yeah? And lots of hearts so that we can do lots of great things together in the future. Oh, mashallah. I'm so excited. Jazakallah khair. May Allah accept it from us all. Okay? Assalamu alaikum friends!